Okay, for tomorrow, let's have our med student present a comprehensive review of the thick ascending limb of Loop of Henley. Huh? There's the thick part? 45 minutes should do it, and our other med student will use the whiteboard to draw a detailed glomerulus, complete with mesangial cells this time. I have no interest in a kidney that can't regulate its own blood flow. Yeah, I'll do better next time. I'm sorry. Okay then. Bill, any other business? Uh, yeah, we just got a consult from General Surgery. They have a patient with chronic kidney disease who needs a CT with contrast. They just want to make sure it's okay. Why is General Surgery ordering kidney function tests? I did ask that question. Apparently, it was a mistake, and the intern responsible has already been yelled at. But why do they need to consult us before giving IV contrast for a scan? The radiologist thinks that IV contrast will cause further damage to the kidneys. Okay. But the nephrologist thinks that contrast-induced acute kidney injury is a myth perpetuated by other doctors who don't trust their kidneys. Really? Yeah. Haven't you seen the flyers he put up everywhere? See, it's not actually the radiologist's fault. It's his. Epic? When you try to order a CT with contrast on a patient with chronic kidney disease, an epic warning box pops up. It scares all the doctors, so they end up just consulting nephrology. Why don't they just get rid of the warning box? When something gets an epic warning box, you can't remove it. It'll be there till the end of time.